of what I am. And what is that? I am a librarian. I asked you to provide the, the public posts that had previously been available on Twitter because the ones that we have were pretty disturbing. You responded as follows, and I quote, My personal Twitter account is comprised of posts about my mystery novels, events at the White House Historical Association, Pittsburgh sports teams, travels, and my dog, end quote. Is this an accurate statement? Yes, Senator. I just remind you you're in drove. Is this an accurate statement? Yes, Senator. Would you give all public posts that you had made on Twitter, you said no, effectively, and you said that your Twitter posts consisted of mystery novels, events at the White House Historical Association, Pittsburgh sports teams, travels, and my dog. And you just told me now under oath that you stood by that. So now let's talk about your Twitter posts. 26th of May, 2022. You talk about an assault weapons ban, retweet a post, ban assault weapons now. Say you agree with this idea that uh, you have to be a certain age to buy so-called assault weapons in America. Is that a post about sports teams or your dog or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. Yes or no, Ms. Shogan, you are under oath before this committee. And I have to say, you have placed this issue squarely in record by repeatedly refusing to answer. Yes or no? My personal, my social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. So you're not answering my question. Let's talk about another post. What about the post on, dis, on January 5th of 2021 in which you say that Ted Cruz ought to stay in his own lane and not worry about what's going on in Pittsburgh? This is a, re a reference, I think, to uh, questions he had about uh, the certification of the last election. Is that a post about your dog or sports teams or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity. Senator. What about uh, the post, you remember December 10th, 2020, where you said that uh, you were hoping that President Trump would have his vetoes overridden and you agreed with the post that, that he was a weak policy president? Is that a post about your dog or sports teams or mystery novels? My social media is in my personal capacity. What about your post on January 5th, 2021, in which you speculated that President Trump would pardon himself next, participating in a conversation about the certification of the Electoral College? Is that a post about sports teams or mystery novels or uh, your work as the, at the White House Historical Association? My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. What about the uh, post, you remember this one, I said we seem to be having an incredible case of amnesia, but maybe you remember this one. This is from December 3rd of 2021, in which you advise an individual who goes by Meg on social media that the Library of Congress, you advise this person to complain about religious flags that have been planted at the, on the grounds of the Library of Congress, and you say that they ought to be removed. And you go on to give this person advice about how to complain and have them removed. Do you remember that post? My social media is in my personal capacity. you remember the post? Capacity. My social you remember media is the in post? my personal capacity, Senator. I, I have to say, I have been here for four years in the Senate. I have never seen a witness stonewall like this before. Never. <laughs> I've seen a lot. This is extraordinary. Do you remember this post? December 3rd, 2021. My social media is in my personal capacity, Senator. I mean, this is unbelievable and you want to be the archivist of the united states you lied to us under oath you lied to us in your qfrs you just lied to me a second ago under oath and now you're sitting here stonewalling not answering questions about public posts that you've made the supreme court held that in fact it constitutes viewpoint discrimination for a government entity to remove religious flags from its property when it's opened up the property to allow other people to put flags on it. Exactly the question that you were addressing in your public posts on Twitter, you're giving legal advice, which you're not qualified to give, directly contrary to the United States Supreme Court. I just wonder, does this have to do with your view that you wrote about that the religious right is connected to the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics? Is that, is that why you said what you said about religious flags? The, the religious right is a force for anti-intellectualism? Explain that to me. No, Senator.
do you stand by your comment that the religious right part of the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics? Senator, that, that article was written. It was about how Republican presidents use common sense terminology to effectively communicate with Americans. Yeah, in which you said that the religious right, the rise of the religious right is part of the rise of anti-intellectualism in American politics. I just point out that's the article in which you say uh, anti-intellectual, the title is anti-intellectualism in the modern presidency, Republican populism. Very nonpartisan. Um, Dr. Shogun, I'm going to ask you again, will you give to this committee your public posts on Twitter? Will you make them available to this My committee? social media is in my personal capacity. Mr. Chairman, I have to tell you, this is the most extraordinary thing I have seen in my brief time in the Senate. I have never seen a witness blatantly lie under oath like Dr. Shogun has just done to this committee. Okay. The Librarian.